so uh, in today's session okay so what we will do so we'll try to uh, you know integrate firebase database with uh, you know python okay so firebase uh, plus uh, python okay so we'll try to access the uh, firebase database using python so that is the objective okay so now uh, i'll just uh, go to firebase console so uh, you just have to go to this firebase console and uh, and you appropriately select the account so here i am just using uh, one gmail account i am just uh, you know going to the console so you should see uh, this part and uh, we have created one uh, project called power system so last class so we created one project called power system and uh, then uh, we hosted one application last class what we did we hosted one application in the firebase so uh, against this particular uh, project okay under this particular project we have hosted one application so on web application we hosted using two methods one is direct hosting uh, into the firebase and other uh uploading to uh, github and uh, synchronizing that particular code with firebase so these are the two things what we have done last class so today what we will do we 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 have some kind of uh, database that is you know two types of database you have in uh, firebase that is called firestore and uh, real time database okay so firestore uh, and I already told it is a no sql type of database okay so uh, whatever these you know programming uh, you know uh, whatever uh, you know you're storing here it will be stored in the form of a json file okay so that is what we have to remember and you can see here last class we have created one uh, a simple uh, database okay so that is uh, you know, a collection name r you know in, in uh, relational database we call it as table right okay table name so similarly here you can call it as collection name and for that particular collection name one id is there that you know document id that is one and under that particular document id you have one uh, uh, what is that uh, json file okay and you have created one uh, c1 is the customer and you kept one array okay that may be the energy consumption so that is what we have assumed in the last class so uh, what we have to do we have to access this particular uh, data okay so in the python so we just have to take this particular data into the uh, python so that is what we do now okay so to uh, to do this so what you have to do uh, okay so i'll just uh, create one uh, folder okay so uh, maybe uh, yeah so I'll just open uh, uh, just open uh, CMD and uh, open Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, or anything, or even you can you can work on uh, the uh, Google Colab. Okay, so that is also uh, possible yeah so now uh now step by step i'll just try to uh you know tell so what you have to do uh i am just creating one uh, folder okay so that folder name uh, i'm just giving as yes, you know uh consumer uh you know consumer db something like that and uh, so this particular folder is empty okay so this particular fo folder is empty so in this particular folder uh, i am just trying to write one python program uh, which access the uh, firebase database okay so uh, that is what my objective is so uh, and what i'll do so i'll come to the main uh, page and there is one folder called consumer db so this is the folder now i have to write a program so i'll just uh, create a new uh, uh, uh no uh, notebook okay i'll create a new notebook so uh, you can see here 
so now here i need to write a program okay so here i need to write a program so uh, just let me give some name uh, for this particular notebook maybe you know uh, you can uh, uh, access okay access uh, you know uh, firebase something like that anything any name okay so now uh, for what you have to do first step so you have to go to this particular firebase uh, you know uh, account and then what you have to do so you just have to uh, you know uh, come to this particular project project overview okay so there is one uh, tab called project overview and uh, there one uh, option is there project setting if you click on the particular project setting and just go to integration sorry service account okay just go to service account so if you go to this particular service account so you will see uh, you know uh, the uh, this this is basically you know if you want to connect your application okay it can be a program it can be a web application or anything so if you want to connect uh, your application with firebase then uh, you need some kind of uh, you know uh, uh, some kind of api key okay or some kind of trust key okay so that is basically generated in this particular uh, place service account so that means without username and password you can access this particular database so that is the objective okay say so now what i am using i am using python okay i am using python so uh, if you see here so they are providing the code here okay to access to initiate this particular uh, you know database so you know uh, to uh, you know uh, establish the connection so this is basically the connection uh, code okay so this is the connection code so what you have to do you just have to generate a new key okay so you just have to generate a new key and you have to download so that is the first step and uh, the only step what you have to do in this particular place okay so now i am just downloading that particular uh, service key okay so uh, you, you know it will come to uh, your machine so local machine so this is basically service key file so once after downloading this so so this is the file what you get so if you open in uh, this particular file you will get uh, some key okay so uh, uh, to access that particular uh, firebase database okay or in fact if you want to access that particular account firebase account okay so hosting database real time database anything this uh, you know uh, file is required so this is basically the uh, some kind of authentication uh, you know code so what you have to do so this particular file you just have to place in that particular folder okay so i am just pa pasting this particular uh, file in in the in the in the place uh, where you have your program or you can place anywhere but you have to give full uh, path okay full path in the program so here you know you can rename okay you rename this program as you know uh, some kind of uh, uh, service key something like that okay Gen uh, okay so uh, service key dot json file it will be json file okay just uh, give some name okay then so th this is what you have to do first step so you have to download the uh, python uh, you know you have to select python and uh, just take the code and uh, generate a private key okay so so this private key uh, will uh, you know will try to establish the connection to your uh, firebase db so now i'll just come to jupyter uh, uh, you know uh, notebook or lab so now i already said so currently uh, you know so this is the code what we have to use to uh, access to initiate the project okay so the the file name is basically account key dot json correct so this is the file name what we have given okay so uh, now when you execute this particular code what happens the connection uh, between the python and the uh, uh, the firebase will establish so i am just running this one so now can you see here okay object is created connection object that means uh, it you know that uh, the connection is done now okay so connection is established now 
what I have to do. So my objective is say, for example, this data I have in Firebase, okay, in Firestore, I have this uh, customer data, okay, C1, C2. I want to take this C1, C2 and I want to represent this particular C1, C2 in a tabular format. Okay, so let me let me have that uh, objective. So uh, to accomplish that particular objective, so let me uh, write a code line by line. So I'll just, uh, uh, you know, uh, write line by line so that, you know, you, you, you can understand. So these uh, four lines are basically uh, to, to extract the, okay, so I, I just written. So these four lines uh, is basically to connect the, uh, to connect to Firebase account, okay, DB, uh, and and to you know exactly point to some collection and to extract the data okay from that particular uh, database so now here you can see here i'm i'm importing firestore uh, library so in firestore okay i'm just initiating the client okay so what kind of client it will initiate uh, it will initiate the client you know which is actually uh, uh, you know uh, where uh, actually the connection is already established here the connection is uh, already established and uh, using that particular connection the the db uh, object will be created okay so this D, uh, from that particular db object i am just looking for this consumer collection okay so uh, so that is basically the reference uh, pointer so using that particular pointer okay so what i am doing i am just streaming okay i'm just streaming uh, the entire uh, content in that particular uh, you know uh, in that particular uh, you know uh, uh, pointer okay so that means uh, the entire collection the consumer collection i am streaming to my uh, python program okay so that is what i am doing okay so then what you can do so next step is basically you can you can see okay so what uh, is you know uh, what is coming to your uh, machine so to see that particular content you know you can you can iterate you can iterate uh, that particular uh, stream object and uh, there, there may be uh, a number of records may be there and uh, so convert that particular stream to dictionary variable so dictionary variable means it's a json object okay so i'm converting that stream object to dictionary variable and I'm trying to run here. So when I run this particular program, let's see what happens. Okay, can you see here? So when I iterate, when I iterate uh, the uh, this particular uh, object, okay, so the stream object, then what I'm getting, okay, so I'm getting the JSON, uh, you know, uh, values. Can you see here? So only one, uh, uh, you know, one uh, uh, stream object is there. I'm converting that to a JSON. So a JSON file is basically coming uh, in my Python program. Okay, so that means uh, in this particular stream object, uh, data is coming. Uh, no, data is coming. So uh, I want to represent this particular data in a, a tabular format. Okay, so uh, okay, so for that, what you can do? So we know uh, if any data, if you have any data, uh, if you want to represent that particular data in some kind of uh, a tabular format so uh, you know the popular uh, library which is used in python is basically pandas okay so what you can do you can you can you can uh, you can use that particular pandas library okay so i am just uh, attaching that particular pandas library to this particular program so uh, pandas are you know you can use anything okay uh, uh, some you know some kind of yeah pd is also fine pandas library are uh, pandas object something like that okay so any name so uh, then what you do so instead of uh, printing the json file i am interested in printing uh, printing the uh, uh, tab uh, tabular data so now what i'll do i'll i'll i'll, I'll basically uh, you know uh, convert that particular data okay to uh, a json file okay so this also does the same thing Okay, so what happens so when, uh, so using this particular code, what you're doing, so you are converting that particular JSON, of, uh, I mean, stream object to JSON data. Okay, so when you run this particular program, you can see, so uh, the entire thing, so document ID and uh, the complete customer information is coming here, correct? And even if you have any uh, N number of records, everything will uh, be, you know, will come and it will be displayed here. 
so in the in the data variable now what i want i don't want uh, uh, this uh, you know uh, i don't want this one the document id i don't want uh, you know uh, in this particular collection so for that what i'll do i'll just take the you know uh, the data corresponding to that particular document id okay so it is basically uh, if you see the you know uh, the excel i mean json file so it will be something like this right okay so it will be something like this okay so uh, for one one is the uh, primary key here one is the primary key okay under that you have uh, this record okay so you know if you uh, beautify this particular you no know, uh, uh, json file you, you will uh, you know you can see uh, this kind of uh, document correct so uh, that means uh, uh, so one is the primary key. So uh, what you have to do, uh, what I am trying to do, uh, I am just trying to take the uh, content for the uh, ID one. Okay. So if if you want to take that kind of you know uh, uh, specific object, then what you have to do? So you just have to use that particular tag. The tag is one. The string. Okay. String one. So you just have to you know use like this. So if the string is one basically document id so that one you are uh, giving here when you try to print that one so uh, it will uh, just give you the sub json file okay the sub dictionary okay so one will not come so now this particular data i just want to print it in a uh, uh, you know uh, uh, tabular format okay so now uh, i already imported the pandas library so very uh, one line of code is there okay so you can use this particular line okay so what you can do you can use this particular line and uh, and uh, you want uh, you know say d of 1 is the uh, content what you want to display okay so d of 1 is the uh, you know you want to convert that particular json file into the tabular representation okay and uh, then what are the columns you want to provide uh, so uh, four values are there uh, you just give any you know uh, column name and uh, you try to run this particular program so now when you run this particular program okay so uh, some error is there pd is not found so uh, so our object name is basically uh, pd object correct so let us run this program okay so now uh, now we could able to see uh, our data in tabular format okay so our data uh, in uh, tabular format okay so so this is the procedure uh, you know to extract data from the uh, firebase now uh, even uh, you, you come and change this particular data say for example this string i'll just make it 5000 okay so i'll just make it 5000 i update it so and then come to this particular uh, program and run the same program so can you see here the customer one 5000 is reflecting Okay, so uh, in this way you can extract data from the uh, uh, Firebase. Okay, similarly you can do update, delete operation, and all those things you can do on top of this particular uh, uh, Python program. And uh, and uh, you 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 have a you know you you have a provision to you know connect this particular database with different types of accounts. Okay. So uh, if you are uh, no, if you are developing some web application using Node.js, okay, you can use this uh, you know string in the in your application. Okay, once uh, you load your uh, web application, so this particular uh, you know connection uh, uh, you know uh, should establish. Okay, so this is basically the connection code. This connection code uh, should run first. Okay, then after that you can uh, you know retrieve data. So the second program what we have written, this kind of code will come in your uh, regular dashboard or whenever you make some you know uh, action. Okay, in your application. Similarly, if you are using Java, you can use this particular you know uh, connection code in your program. So Go program. Okay, so uh, these are the you know uh, uh, you know syntax. Uh, to connect to uh, no, uh, different, uh, uh, no, uh, from different platform. Okay, so uh, and uh, for all all these things, you just have to keep this service key, uh, you know, primary key. Okay, uh, file primary key file in the current uh, folder. Okay, so 
uh, in the current folder, you have to keep this particular file. If you are running any web application, this file should be the part of that particular web application. So that you just have to uh, take care. So this is the procedure to extract and display the content uh, using Python. So, okay. so uh, everybody understood this particular program connecting Firebase uh, with Python program. So any questions?